Hi, Kerry here from My Cloud Bookkeeping. I work with small business owners and entrepreneurs and help them to utilize QuickBooks Online to keep their business bookkeeping up to date and make accurate up to the minute decisions to manage their business finances. Often when we hear about AI, it's a little scary. What does it mean? What will the AI be doing in my QuickBooks? And what if I don't want it? More questions than answers. So what I'm hoping to do today is show you some examples of what Intuit Assist is doing so you'll be able to understand and hopefully remove some of the fear of the unknown. So QuickBooks started rolling out that little blue circle thing on August 4th. You've likely seen it when you log in to QuickBooks, or perhaps you've seen it with the wording Intuit Assist, and you may have decided to opt out, deal with it another day. So you can continue to opt out until September 30th. And after that date, all the AI features will be live and active in all QuickBooks files. So in today's video, I'm gonna walk through three features that are operational now. Some are still in beta, some are not available for me to test yet. So as the new features do come on board, I'll add in some new videos and be sure to have that little bell on so that you'll be notified. The first feature I came across was the option to create an invoice reminder. Now you can automate invoice reminders and uh, I've had that set up in the past, I have another video on it. However, once the date of the automated reminder has passed, there will be no more reminders set. This is a quick and easy feature. Let's see how it works. You can see here this little blue symbol that shows it's an AI assist, one of the new features. And it says let's re it's created a reminder for Bill's windsurf shop who, oh, who owes us $85. And it's drafted this up. Now, it's going to be a surprise what it looks like because I have not previewed this yet. But let's click and have a look and see what it says. Okay, generating a message. This is pretty cool. Urgent pay overdue invoice, uh, 44 days overdue. This completely makes sense. Look at that. It's just generated it by itself. Now, previously I've had automated reminders set up, but after a while they stop. So I could see how this could be useful. The other interesting thing is it's written it in a way that is different to the default message. So let's have a quick look and see what the default message is. Oh yeah, see this is just kind of a nice reminder. The other one was a little bit more terse, I guess, because it was 44 days overdue. Now let's hit rewrite message and see what it says. Okay, it goes back to that urgent again. Let's click rewrite just for the fun of it and see what it does for our third time. I don't really know that that's any different. And you, of course, would be a, oh, we are eager to build a healthy business relationship. Look at this. That might be what it's changed. So you, of course, could change this. Um, you know, we're not going to send you fountains unless you are going to send the fountains. If you don't pay, I don't know. Whatever you wanted to write in here, you could. And then you just hit send reminder and off it would go. So that's kind of a, a cool AI tool to help you to collect your money a little bit more quickly. So while we're looking at invoices, I tested out the Invoice Creation Assistant. They call it the Payments Agent, and I love it. Now, one of the AI Intuit Assist features is this Payments Agent, and it's intended to get you paid faster or sooner um, by helping you with your invoicing. So you can see uh, along here on the left-hand side, there's some information about some customers 12 invoices were overdue in the last 12 months payments 23 days late on average now i thought this would be interesting if it was to do with a particular customer we'd pulled up but it's kind of generic maybe it's interesting but what i want to test out today is this autofill feature so you can use files images if you take a photo of something or text now i'm going to play with the text thing and let's see what we'll write in here um please invoice Bill's windsurf for 12 fountains and um, rocks. Let's just see what it can do with this. I'm not too sure if that'll be enough information or not. I'm testing this out as we go. So let's see what happens. It's extracting and working. It's definitely taking its time thinking. And here we go. We have Bill's windsurf shop. We have uh, rock fountain 12 of them okay well that's not bad this is good oh and here we go now here's the information about the specific customer 
um, since July 2025, 21 days to pay, one paid invoice, and one not due yet, and one overdue. That actually kind of is useful. So it's suggesting that we send a reminder, update the terms to, to due on receipt, and then um, online payments, which QuickBooks always want you to do. This is great. Uh, the description, Fountain with Rocks. I was actually intending to also sell some rocks to them. So let's just grab the rocks in here. Hey, maybe we don't have rocks. That's why I couldn't do it. Maybe it's the concrete I needed to sell. Here it is. So I can easily add in this concrete if I wish. Um, let's say it was $5,500 worth of concrete. And there's our invoice. That actually was pretty cool and pretty easy. Uh, I've looked at deposits on a separate video. If you want to take a deposit from these guys because it's a large amount and they're late paying, we can do that. Maybe take a $500 deposit. Then they'll owe $3,300. But yeah, that actually, I, I don't dislike that. What do you think? Thirdly, when I went to the main dashboard, the business feed had a lot of suggestions. Let's check those out. So let's take a look together and see what this AI suggestion for the business feed is. So we'll click through here and see what it comes up with. So they've projected a net profit for the last month. Well, they said they've calculated it, but with so much to review, I don't really know how useful that is. So I guess the only thing I would say about this is that it is a prompt for you to go and categorize your transactions. I'm not too sure how useful that is. You probably know you have to do that. Overdue invoices, okay, this is useful. $1,500 worth of invoice. And I've created a separate little video showing how the AI for the reminders work. I think that's kind of cool. So that's a separate thing that you can see. Um, a suggestion to add late fee fees to your invoice. Great idea. That's something you can set up within QuickBooks. I'm pretty sure I have another video on that. If not, I'm going to add that to my list. But if I do, it's going to be, I will put a reference in the, the top corner there, okay? Uh, it's letting you know how much money you got in this, this last week, which is not a huge amount. Uh, and then prompting you to upload receipts, which hopefully you would have done anyway. I don't know that there's a lot here that's really all that useful. Uh, I guess if you're the sort of person who doesn't know what to do next, this would be a great page because it would tell you, hey, go and categorize your transactions, follow up on your invoices, maybe add some late fees, bring in some extra money, and then upload any receipts. So maybe it's a kind of a cool to-do list if you're not too sure what to do next. But other than that, I don't really see that there's a lot of value to it. I'd love to hear what you think. Now, I'm not sure if they're going to improve with time. It likely doesn't help that I'm not in a real file. And as I mentioned, if you're looking for a to-do list that's relevant for your business, this may be very helpful. So hopefully, looking through these three new AI or Intuit Assist features will remove some of the mystery from the new assistant. I'd love to hear what you think and what features you try out. As more and more options are rolled out, I'm gonna keep you up to date. So if you see something and I haven't written a video on it yet, be sure to reach out. So be sure to like, subscribe and ring that little bell because as I have more QuickBooks tips and rollouts, I'll be making new videos. And as always, I would love to hear from you. Cheers.